Hi there, it's Medusa and this is my review on Ophelia. I have just finished watching this, um, it's on Netflix and these are my thoughts. Um, this will have spoilers so if you haven't seen it then click off. Um, I actually quite enjoyed this movie. Um, there was, you know, there was, it was very focused on Ophelia and I think that was, you know, a really good choice. They didn't focus too much on the romance and stuff, just about Ophelia and her perspective on things. Um, I I think the acting was incredible to be honest. I think Daisy Ridley and Naomi Watts were just outstanding in this movie. Um, the cinematography was beautiful. Every single shot was shot like a painting. It was, it was shot so beautifully and and um, it was just a gorgeous movie to watch. Um, Hamlet doesn't really feature, um, Hamlet the, himself doesn't really feature in it that much um, than I was expecting. And I was kind of okay with it because, um, yeah, I mean, Hamlet isn't the greatest person, obviously. Um, none of them really are other than Ophelia and her, her, uh, Horatio and, and yeah. Um, I, I think that Daisy Ridley's performance in the scene where she has to pretend to be insane in order to get out of the, the like the kind of um the suspicions of the king and how to pretend that she's she just she has to pretend to be this like you know like crazy and mad and the acting in that scene was incredible because Daisy Ridley portrays Ophelia as mad but just like she's pretending to be mad really well and it's such an amazing performance it's actually outstanding um you can tell that Ophelia is pretending to be a little bit crazy you can also tell that she's actually genuinely quite distressed by a lot of the crazy and terrible stuff that's been going on and you can tell that she's also you know faking it completely and I think her relationship with uh, Gertrude the Queen and the Queen's sister, the woman that, you know, the, the kind of witchy woman, um, was really brilliant. Um, I wasn't expect, I wasn't expecting, like, I'm not very familiar with Hamlet as like a, like a story, but I think from just what I've read five minutes ago about what the actual story kind of entails, I like this one a lot better. Um, I think the ending to this movie was kind of brilliant <laughs> um yeah I thought that the Queen's reaction first of all to seeing um Ophelia dead in the water was pretty great because I think it showed a little bit more dimensions to the Queen than just she just you know she kind of has a crush on her brother-in-law it was a little bit more you know impactful to know that she's in this version, I don't know about the original, but she, in this version, she's just kind of obsessed about, you know, she wants she wants someone to love her basically, um, and I think that she realizes that she actually kind of cared about Ophelia more, more than she thought she did. So when she sees her lying there dead, she actually is hurt, and I think that was such a really well portrayed moment. Um, I think the the ending with um, <laughs> with uh, Ophelia giving Hamlet an option, saying, "Come and run away with me, or you can go and get your re revenge and probably die." <laughs> and he chooses revenge, but she chooses to go and live on. And I think the like the kind of ending shots of the palace being completely destroyed by the the um, the army that was approaching, and um, uh, the queen stabbing uh, the king, the new king, and um, yeah, and then basically them all dying was actually pretty brilliant because I think it just showed like what revenge does to someone. Um, it shows the kind of ne the, obviously the very negative um, side effects for getting revenge, and it shows what can happen if you just learn to let go. And with Ophelia, she learned she just let go. She um, she decided to move on, and she and in the end, I think it's her daughter that she has. Um, yeah, it's a daughter. Um, I think it was kind of hinted that that's Hamlet's child because um, when she was going to get married to somebody else um, as like a way for them to kind of secure their place in the royal whatever um, 
and one of the, the maids, the ladies of the Queen kind of notices that she's fat and uh, she's put on weight. So I felt like it was it was kind of interesting because I just thought as soon as I happened, I was like, oh my god, is she pregnant? But she was, and I think the ending shot with her walking along with her daughter, when they both found complete happiness, I think it kind of shows that that's what you know you're supposed to do with life. You're not supposed to just go and kill people and get revenge. You're supposed to, I don't know, try and move forward. And I thought it was quite nice actually. Um, but yeah. I actually really enjoyed this movie and I think, I don't think it's like, a, I wouldn't say it's like the best movie I've ever seen, but I definitely think it's worth a watch and I think Ophelia is really cool. So um, thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you all later. Bye!